guys, Chris Cox here. I got a great lesson for you today. We're going to do a Mr. Big lesson. I've been wanting to do one from these guys for a long time. This is going to be Green Ten and Sixties Mind off their Lean Into It album. I believe that came out in '91. Um, the tuning for this is standard tuning. If you want to play along with the lesson or the record, so let's jump into that very unique introduction riff by Paul Gilbert. Slowly. Tough lick. I, I've worked on this one for a while. I struggled the most with just the timing on this. Is that you know once the bass line kicks in, I, I could I could pull in with the timing. When I was just having to count off to do it, uh, just with like a you know a click, it was it was kind of hard. Uh, let's go through every single part of this, just a few notes at a time, so it'll it'll be easier to kind of take it all in. So the very first part is a. So you're hitting an open high E. You're going to hammer on the second fret of the high E. So hammer on meaning not picking, you're just hammering your finger down. And then you're going to pull off to the open high E and then play the open B. The next part after that is going to be So after that, open B, we play high again, hammer onto the seven, pull off to the five, pull off to open. The next part is gonna be. So that's gonna be from second to fourth on the third uh, the G string and you're just hammering on there high E open hammer on to the five hammer on to the seven so it's Here's where the tapping part comes in. So after you do this part, hammer on, hammer on, you're going to tap here on the 12th fret of the high E. And you're going to, you know, once you tap, you're going to sweep your feet down like you're doing a pull off the seven and then you're pulling off to the five so we have all this slowly and then we're going to tap down here at the 17th fret of the high E and play that so it's going to be a tap pull off to the 10 here on the high E and then hammer on to the 12. And then tap again on the 17. Play, play what we got again slowly and then we'll talk about this tapping down here again. Seventeen, seventeen. Then a, a tap on the 16. Now, once we tap, you're gonna shift your first finger here to the fourth fret of the high E and then tap and pull down on the 16th fret. And then you're gonna pull off of the fourth fret, so. Now, once you pull off, so we'll play that again slowly. Hammer on the four, hammer on the seven of the high E. And 
then you're going to hammer down here on the 12th fret of the high E. Now that slide is going to be, I'll play, turn on my gain a little bit. That's going to be 12 to 16 back to 12. And then it's, then you plug down, pull down again, and then it's going to be to the seven, to the four on the high E. But this is the trickiest part of the whole, 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 whole lick. So let's play that again. And then it repeats again. Yeah. Lick. The last time through we hit the 12 and just bring your finger all the way down. And then we play these chords. Let's talk about that. So we come down here, we're going to be playing uh, the 14th fret of the D, 12th, excuse me, 13th fret of the G. So we have a, and you're hitting the open E in between these. So all we're doing here, 14, 13, low E, and then 14, 14 on the D and G. And there's a little vibrato on that chord too with that double stop. I'm going to shift up here to the 7th fret of the D and G. And then to the ninth fret of the D and G. So just 7, open E, 9. And then we're going to come up here and play the 2nd and 2nd fret of the D, 1st fret of the G. From there, we have to quickly switch our first finger down here to the second fret of the low E. So we have to do a. So it's second fret of the D, first fret of the G. Grab the second fret of the low E, and then you're going to be playing second fret of the D and G. And then you're playing this. That's going to be high E, D. G. Now we're going to shift our finger here to the second fret of the A, and then the second fret of the uh, the G, and then play an A5, which is going to be open A, second fret of the D and G. So we have. And then you hit the open B and high E together. And then the next part, you're going to do this little harmonics here on the 12th fret. And then it holds again, and you can hit this again. This is just a, an E chord. You can play it up here if you wanted to do that as well. And then... So really quickly, I want to mention that I have a Patreon channel now. So all of my latest YouTube lessons, I'm going to have the tablature on there available to the members, as well as there's going to be backing tracks, there's going to be other alternative lessons that include anything from practice techniques to some theory to taking licks from our favorite guitar players and kind of turn them into our own thing. So it's a very cool uh, channel. I'm real proud of it. And if you'd like to join, you just uh, click the link in the description. It'll take you straight there. It's only three bucks a month. Guys, thank you for the support. I sure appreciate it. Right after that harmonic is played the second time, we play this rhythm. Okay, so first you're going to bar your first finger across the ninth fret of the D, G, and B, and you're going to be play. You're going to put your middle finger here on the tenth fret of the B. So we're going to do this three down strums. 
One, two, three, four. So on the fourth, you're gonna pick up that middle finger. Now, after you do that, you're gonna come up here and grab with the middle finger the bass note, which is a D, and do a, and then come back and grab that nine of the D and G. So it sounds like this. And then from here, you're gonna go up. Now that's hard, that's a hard switch there. So I kind of look at it like this, and before I grab that bass note, I'm going to go ahead and play those treble notes first. So we have... So that's going to be 9th fret of the G, 10th fret of the B, and doing a... But the bass note is going to be, instead of a D, it's going to be a C sharp, which is on the 9th fret of the low E, and then you're doing a... So two down strums again, back to that D and G on the ninth fret. So far, now from here we're just going to flatten out our ring finger across the ninth fret of the D, G, and B string and do a and you're going to hit this as your bass note here on the, the, the B. So this is a, the seventh fret of the low E. So three down strums. And then after that, so after that three down strums, you're going to come back to that bass note. And then you're going to basically play this. That's going to be ninth fret of the D, eighth fret of the G. So. We're gonna come back down here and go. So real similar. So your bass note here is gonna be back to the D. So you hit that bass note. And three down strums here on the 12th fret of the D, G, and B. After those three down strums, you go back to it and then going to play this little chord or I guess this will be really since it's a two note thing it's going to be considered an interval or some people call them a double stop it's going to be 12th fret of the D and 11th fret of the G so so together chorus now. So, uh, lots of, uh, you know, you could play this a couple ways. You could play, but I find it hard to kind of control the strings and dampen them when I need to. So, I basically play the same, this is the same thing played right here. So, if you play the fourth fret of the D, fifth fret of the B, and then you can add, hit that open high E, and it works. And, it, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, accidentally, if you hit that, that's going to be a, a string that you don't want to ring so we have so let's let's come out of this again so so just to, to put it in some musical uh, context so. so when you come out of this part open E so it's just one open E the first time, open E, F sharp is the second fret, 
of the, the low E. You're still keeping the same chord. Only thing that's changing here is your bass notes. And it's just gonna be one on the first hit. Now this time you're shifting down here to the G sharp, which is the fourth fret of the low E, still keeping that same chord we had. hit an open A, and then you're going to hit an open B, and then an open high E, and then the little uh, harmonic we played earlier. So it's together. here and play the same thing the bass notes change again but that chord underneath is the same now we get to here and we shift this bass note to B that's a quick switch there so gonna have to grab that with your thumb that's gonna be on the sixth fret of the low E and then this basically the chord is gonna be sixth fret of the D sixth fret of the G fifth fret of the B so you're just gonna play sixth fret of the low E D G B and then you gonna come up here and play an A5 that's again open A, second fret of the D and G, and then a B5, which is going to be second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D and G. So, and then we play the same thing we already already know. going to play through a little bit here just to kind of put everything in musical context. This is the second verse. Nothing changes. Here's the pre-chorus. to the guitar. It's going to be a slide. So you're going to be sliding all the way into the 14th fret of the D. And then you're going to be playing 13, 14, back to 13. And then vibrato. And slide back out when you come to the 14th. Now the next time it repeats the same thing. After that, you're going to hit open E and then open high, high E and B. And then you can do it like a chordal part or a double start. So that's going to be, so that's what you're going to play instead of arpeggiated, you're going to play these notes together like you'd be playing a chord. slide back out of there. So pretty much the, the, the licks stay the same. Now that part we come out of that's going to be the 15th fret of the B string. And then it's just a full bend up with some quick vibrato. And you come back again. 
This time we play it again. On that last part, you can hit that 14th fret of the of the uh, D string, and then that's open B and high E again. So let's play what we have so far. similar to what we have down here but we're going to be playing up here on the uh, ninth fret of the D, eighth fret of the G and back and forth you know you're gonna so you're gonna hit that D put your mid ring finger down on the ninth fret of the G now this is when the drums, the timing is a little bit different, so uh, Pat kind of flips the beat, and and this is where it gets a little tricky. So when you're getting this, and Billy's changing the bass note underneath this, but we're keeping that same melody. Now you're gonna slide down here. So you're gonna slide all the way to 16th fret of the D string and play. That's going to be 15, 16, back to 15. A little bit of vibrato. Okay, let's talk about that. So we have. Now that's going to be a half bend here on the 16th fret of the B, and you do, and then you're gonna do a hammer on pull off from 14 to 16. So, so after you do that bend, you're gonna play 16 to 15. Play what we have slowly. Let's go back. Let's go actually from the whole thing. It gets tricky down here. Last part is that's going to be 16, 15 of the of the G, 16 of the G to the 14 of the B. So we have 16 D, 15 G, 16 G, 14 B, and then on the 17th of the B, you're going to. Play the whole thing slowly. Now that plays through, I think, four times. On the last run, though, it goes like this. Oops. So you don't do 
that little slide down right before then, so it's... Oops. When you get to that note, you're going to go to the... And that's just going to be a D5. To the E5. And that's going to be open D. G, second fret of the G, um, third fret of the B, two, three, and then open E, second fret of the A for the E5.